When we're solving multi-step equations, there's two things that we can start out by doing to simplify the equation so that we can solve it and get that variable by itself. The first one is combining the like terms. If there's anything that can be combined on the same side of the equal sign, we should do that. The second thing is using the distributive property to get the variable out of the parentheses or get rid of some parentheses, free up that variable so that we can get it by itself. Let's take a look at some examples. This first example we have 4x plus 2x minus 3x equals 27. Well, we've got lots of x's here. We can combine all those. So we have 4x plus 2x. That would be 6x. 4x's plus 2x's is 6x's. Then minus 3x, that would give us 3x. 6x minus 3x is 3x equals 27. Then, this should look very familiar. We have 3x, which means 3 times x. To get rid of the times 3, we divide by 3. Do the opposite. So divide by 3 on both sides. We're left with x equals 9. Now we can take that 9 and put it back into our equation to see that it works. So if we put in 9, we'd have to put it in for each x. So we put in 9 for x there, 9 for x there, 9 for x there. We have 9 times 4 is 36, plus 2 times 9 is 18, minus 3 times 9 is 27, and that gives us 27 when we do that. 36 plus 18 gives us 54, minus 27 is 27. Let's take a look at another example. Down here we have 4a plus 1 minus a equals 19. Again, we can combine like terms. We have a minus a here and a 4a here. Well, 4a minus a, how many a's is this? This is 1a. We could write a 1 in there if we wanted to. So we have 4a's minus 1a. That gives us 3a plus 1 equals 19. Now, this should look kind of familiar from the last section. We want to get rid of the plus 1 first. We work our way in toward the variable. So to get rid of a plus 1, we minus 1. Both sides of the equation. Then we get 3a equals 18. Just bring down what we've got left. Then we've got 3 times a. Get rid of the times 3. We divide by 3. Both sides. Those 3's cancels out, cancel out and we're left with a equals 6. Again, you could take that back and check to make sure that it's correct. Let's take a look at this problem. We've got some parentheses. When you see parentheses like this, the distributive property should immediately pop into your head because that's what we're going to use oftentimes to get rid of those parentheses. Remember, the distributive property says we can take this 4 and we can multiply it by each thing that's inside the parentheses. So we get 4 times y, then 4 times minus 1. Keep that sign with that second number. We have 4 times minus 1 would be negative 4 equals 36. Now we've got something we can work with. Here, we want to get rid of the minus 4. How do we do that? Plus 4. Both sides of our equation. So we have 4y equals 36 plus 4 is 40. Now, last step, we've got 4 times y, opposite, divide by 4, both sides, and we're left with y equals 10. Again, you could check your answer, put it back in. And finally, <clears throat> in this equation, We've got the parentheses going on, so let's get rid of those first using the distributive property. Again, the distributive property tells us, hey, we can take this 2, multiply it by each thing that's inside the parentheses. So we're going to rewrite what we have. 16 equals 2 times x is 2x. Then 2 times minus 1 would be negative 2. Then we have a minus x. Well, we've got an x here and an x here, so we need to combine those. So now we're going to combine like terms. 2x minus x, remember this is a minus 1x, that would just give us an x. So we have 16 equals x minus 2. Now we need to get rid of this minus 2. 
Now, sometimes people want to go over here and work with the 16. Remember that our goal is to get the variable by itself. Here's the variable right here, so we're concerned about getting rid of the stuff that's with the variable. Don't worry about the stuff that's on the other side of the equation. It doesn't matter to us except in what we do on both sides. We want to get rid of the stuff that's hanging out with the variable. So we're concerned about this minus 2. To get rid of it, we do the opposite. Plus 2. Both sides of the equation. 16 plus 2 is 18 equals x. 2's cancel out, and there's our answer. Remember when you're solving multi-step equations, first thing, see if you can combine any like terms on the on either side of the equation and also if you have parentheses use that distributive property to get those parentheses out of there and make your equation something that you can work with and get that variable all by itself.